charged with raping and killing a toddler in Enid makes a court appearance. Kalia Guyton was found in an Enid motel pool back in April. The man charged with her murder, Michael Geiger, later found covered in blood. He was hiding on a nearby roof. Today, the first time we've seen him in person. News 4's Natalie Clydesdale tried to talk to him about the charges he's facing. She's in Enid with the new information. Today was the first time we've seen Michael Geiger, who is charged with raping and killing two year old Kalia Guyton. I tried to talk to Geiger on his way into the courtroom. Michael, why'd you do it? Yeah, please stick back. Do you have anything to say to the family? Michael Geiger, handcuffed and shackled, walking into a Garfield County courtroom Monday afternoon. Looking at the accusations, including rape, kidnapping, and murder, um, there's obviously a real chance that the state is going to seek the death penalty in this case. It's the first time News 4 has seen Geiger in person since the horrific death of two year old Kalia Guyton that sent shockwaves through Enid. Anything you want to say, Michael? These cases move extremely slowly. You may remember back in April, authorities were called to the Grand Prairie Motel. The nature of a call was a girl had drowned in the motel pool. That 911 call too graphic for News 4 to air, but court records reveal the body of the toddler was found outside the pool with orange shorts wrapped around her neck and injuries consistent with sexual assault. After a seven hour search, authorities tracked down Geiger on a nearby roof with blood on his hands and body. We were told that he had been in the Enid area for some work and had recently come up and stayed at the motel. Court documents also show police found a quote very bloody scene in his room along with clothing items belonging to the two-year-old. On Monday, Geiger was in court for a brief appearance. With accusations as serious as the accusations are in this case, um, there are always several preliminary court appearances before anything of substance happens such as a preliminary hearing. Geiger's attorney denying an on-camera interview, but tells us the pre-preliminary hearing is set for Monday, July 11th. They have a lot of rights that have to be protected. At this early juncture, it is very difficult to say exactly what the time frame is going to be. In Enid, Natalie Clydesdale, Oklahoma's News 4. Just terrible. Thank you, Natalie. We talked to Kalia's mother on the phone today, but as you can imagine, she tells us she is not ready to do an interview.